Thomas thoughts and that daft girl Geba. I'm looking for Gloucester's elderman. <laughs> well, the one who still draws breath is in the church. How do I get in? You're not supposed to get in. No reason to enter that dump anyway. Fuck, you'd have to get me very drunk to show you inside. Sounds like some hell loose in this town. <laughs> while you were away. We're always looking for help, so come back any time. Have you seen Kunan? <laughs> He's gonna be in the Wicker Man. Kunan? Oh, for you, love? I could be. Kunan. <laughs> the Marilet! Oh goodness, you're so frightening. What are you doing after the festival? I'm looking for Kunan. Right! Right, yes, he's in the church. Actually, if you're headed that way, this crate needs to be delivered to him. Just tell Geva I sent you. Of course. Um, what does Geva look like? Badger mask, same as me. Should come running when she sees you. Best of luck and happy Samhain! Gemma's waiting for this delivery to the church. That's my way in. Where's Kunan? Mary Louved! Come dance with me! Right, gotta keep my... Ah, the crate! Yes, yes, come this way. Good you came by. Sarah was supposed to drop it off ages ago. Kunan is inside. 
must find a way to get in. Snake tongue. Eivor! Ha! Have you... have you been enjoying the festivities? We're done with this shadow play. Tefter's safe, and I know of your plan to sacrifice him in your stead. You think I mean to escape the flames? I go to the Wicker Man gladly, but I will not leave Glowerchester in the hands of the Christian Zealot. Then what? Leave your people without a leader? In an angry church ready with holy fire? They won't be without a leader. Modron will sit upon the Horn's throne. Are you telling me that Modron lied? Ha! <laughs> We've turned you in circles like a dog, haven't we? Modron was the architect of Tevder's murder, Eivor. All to take control of Gloucestershire for herself. It would be a hard grasp to hold, surrounded by Christians on all sides. There was no other way. She had a vision. Tevder framed by flames and burning. Everything we created together. Everything... you and Mother. Then... Gwyneth? A man must get his house in order before his death. Feather his nest for his children. Your grand scheme has collapsed into sand at every step, Kunin. I know. I never should have trusted Gwilym and his merry band of fuckwits to kill one man. You and the witch? This was the plan. To make me dance your merry tune, so you could build a legacy for your daughter. I always desired Modern. So when she asked me to take the part in a fertility ritual, of course I agreed. Our union conceived not only Gwenev, but a united Glowichestershire. One that Tevder would stamp out. This is where you failed, Kunin. Tevder is a changed man. He straddles the same line as you. Tevder? The boy has the head of a mule. You taught him reason? Not just I. The kindness of bandits and strange Britons. He embraces Christ and Chernanos alike. Shit. Prophecy is a strange web, is it not? Tevder's reformation just needed a kidnapping and a dedicated Dane. Eivor, Modron will have taken Tevder to her forest temple. If you make haste, you might be able to stay her blade. I have much to attend to here, otherwise I'd lead you myself. Go now. <laughs> Unless you plan on killing me first. You are already a dead man. I will not make your people suffer for your actions. Thank you, Eivor. Your mercy will be rewarded, I'm sure. Cast about this lamp, my friend.
Chanting. It's faint. But I recognize Mordron's voice.
stepped into Alfheimer. Why is this a new realm entirely? Sweat and blood, death and birth. Turn this man from beast to earth. Modron, stay your blade, or die at my hand. I should have known Kunon wouldn't have it in him to quarter you for the dogs. It's a cold bitch who throws her lover to the wolves for her own crimes. You understand so little. No matter. Let me enlighten you with the fury of the gods! Gloucestershire in the hands of that Christian, and for what? Your name and some trade routes? Do you doubt the power of your guards to sway the mind of a man? Tefter is no longer the seller you believe him to be. A man will lie to save his skin. When you are gone, he'll gut me and burn my people. The gods showed me this. Kunan spoke of your vision. The Nordnir spin their fatal threats, but without your plan, his heart would remain unchanged. Then I have no regrets. But I had a vision of you as well. One of a path that twists like the river owls. A seer's spinnings twist limb and word alike. Prophecy is a river, and we are powerless to fight its clutches. She was fighting to protect her people. But she ground your name to dust. Sullied the honor of herself and her people. I spared Kunan. Say your goodbyes, and keep out of my sight, witch. Mother? What is this? Is this... Are we in hell? No. We are in England. How are you feeling? I feel well. <coughs> but it's a little fragrant in here, is it not? You will live to be Elderman yet, Tefter. Despite the many attempts on your life. Attempts? Untimely death. God's blood! You're safe. And the ceremony will proceed in Gloucester. Your wounds should heal by the next moon. If you get some rest. Then you have my thanks, Mother Modrin. Lovely woman. Utterly terrifying, though. Let's return with haste. This cave is a place of nightmares. Guna, it's good to see a face I trust. Even your frightful mug. I thought this could be our shared saga. But it is time to leave. We have spent not but a drink together. Worry not, Eivor. You and I have many tales to tell yet. And our names ring out clear and with honor. Yeah, a 
tale. A tale of Gloucester. Beautiful land, full of damned fools. Ha! I will drink to that. You have my thanks. Anything for you, old friend. Then let us say our farewells to this wicker king. And then be on our way home. Yes. Ranby will be eager to meet Richard. Richard and Gunnar have already gone ahead. I should join them. You owe me your prophecy, witch. And I shall give it. You are a great warrior, conqueror of this land, and that of your birth. But at the end of all things, you will find yourself with nothing but your regrets. I... I see. We first met at Simkin's Wicker Man Ascension. I was besotted with you at a glance. So long ago. Some poetic symmetry after 20 years' prosperity. Grant. Please don't do it! We can find something else! Someone else! Peace, dear heart. I will join the dirt that grows the trees and the barley, my body feeding the gods, worms, and even you. So I will be here. And a long, long time from now, when you're old and wrinkled like an apple, <laughs> you will see me again. Father, I thought I could be ready. It is time. Then this is yours. This is your path, Tifter. No thorns and briars could keep you from it. And you, Eivor, friend of Gloucestershire, you have lived up to your reputation. I know you owe me less than nothing, but please, take care of them. I take no pleasure in the suffering of others. You would know this if you had given me a chance. Twenty years I have been your elderman. Now these old bones are ready for my last duty. I have worked alongside you, clearing fields, brewing drink, births, and deaths. All growing and learning. The wicker man is ready, O oh king. Your altar awaits. I am honored to be your Harvest King. With this flame set, may our crops be plentiful and our winters brief. Despite it all, he has the ending he prayed for. Straight to the mouths of hungry gods. Dominus autum et supplementum autum per liquidae. The honor is yours. Segnatra unis pia et pius simpladatra. Praise the harvest king!
in heaven, our mother who art in earth, please, <coughs> please accept this offering. <coughs> Take of me my flesh and bone and bless. Seems the wind calls me back to Rantvi. Let's tell her the good news. Nice to see Sigurd back where he belongs. I would like to see what you have. You like the looks of that one? Ah, look at you. Wonderful. You are looking powerful. I'm off. Be well, friend. Put that gear to good use out there. begins a long time ago at a desert oasis. Ah. May I see your stores? Finished? I will see you later, friend. A good day to you. Good to see you. I can hardly begin to describe what happened in Glower Chestershire. I think you will learn soon enough. But we are allied with them. Yes. For all our pains. A 
I want to see the Alliance map. I have changed my mind. Shall we? Please, Eivor. I should go. Uber Ragnarsson has come. He claims to have some business with you. Uber Ragnarsson, you are a long way from your king's side. Eivor. Yes, a long stroll through the hills and fields of Mercia. Also, I could thank you. Thank me? For sending my brother to his just reward. In spite of the harm he caused you and everyone around you, I could not keep him in line in this life. But I have no doubt the old father will put him to good use in the next. A darkness followed your brother. One I'm not sure he understood. But as you say, he is now where he belongs. He is. And as a show of my thanks, I came to offer you a gift. A token of my respect. Thank you. Put it to good use, Wolfkist. And may we meet again soon. On a battlefield, if the fates are kind. Sigurd wishes to speak with you. He is quite agitated. Something happened. You will want to speak to him yourself. Eivor, the time has come. Our time. Our time for what? My final glory awaits. Your final glory? I fear to ask what that means. Do I not speak plainly? My time in Midgard is done. I wish now to see the hall of my ancestors. If you wish to die, it will not be by my hand. I do not speak of death, Eivor. I speak of life. Life and glory everlasting. I know I've been in a fog these last few weeks. I know I speak words you don't fully understand. But I only ask you trust me once more, on my final voyage, back to Norway, to wish my father farewell, and achieve my destiny. Back to Norway? I need to discuss this with Ranvi. If you must. I will await your answer, down by the docks. Do not keep me waiting. Pleasure to see you, Eivor. I want to see the Alliance map. It may be time to return to Norway. Sigurd is eager to see his father and... ...and beyond that, I do not know. I have heard ill news about Styrbjorn in the past year. If you go, go with care. We will leave now, and return as soon as we're able. Good. And be safe. Both of you. Sigurd. Shall we then, Eivor? To Norway, and well beyond. To Norway, then. Good, good! Lead on! Is it our fair hair's kingdom now? Every peak and fjord. It pains me to say it. To think it even. And our father is full. 
poor man. It is a role he chose. He bent easily and broke in half. Do not pity him. No. For many moons I could not sleep, always thinking of his betrayal. The horrors I wished upon him. He deserves nothing but shame now. Put it out of your minds again. There's no need to hound the old man. No. He must taste the same foulness that I taste. He must know what glory he missed by staying here, the lapdog of a conqueror. You want to speak with him? Yes. Face to face. I will tell him the truth. Oh, no! Raun or grief! Go, my eyes. What was it Randy said? Our father spends his days in the meat halls and his nights on barren planks of wood. That's right. We'll search the meat halls. I remember one nearby. A sad hole where men oh. soak their unhappiness. We should look there. We come empty-handed. Not even a gift to offer. Rats don't appreciate gifts. They sniff and lick them without care. You are chipper, brother. Great Eivor. Return when you have need of my strength. That poor soaker, he I have an never iron leaves. stomach and a From sun back. up to sundown, he just sits there. We should go. Look at him. Father. Sigurd? My son, Eivor, by Odin's blessing, come and let me look at you Stop. both. That is far enough. Blood of Chir, what happened there? A grievous wound you have. Are you well? Far better than I look, I assure you. This... this calls for a toast. Your journey must have been long and cold. A drink to warm your blood! We are not here to drink or make merry. Only to look upon the rackets of a once great man. And then what? Make new war against King Harald? Stake a claim on his crown? Is that your wish? To sow more chaos here? <laughs> You're absurd, old man. What could possibly interest me in this frozen backwater? I heard rumors that England was infested with kings already. I thought maybe... Maybe you would return here to... I have cast aside all dreams of kingship, father. A much greater end lies in wait for me. <laughs> I have returned for one reason only, to say goodbye, and to thank you for your colossal failure. Failure? As a father, as a king, as a man. For without it, I would not have discovered my true self. My failure, as you call it. My oath to King Harald was the only sensible path forward for a man in my situation. There was nothing sensible about your betrayal. Sigurd should have been king. You robbed him of that. Who did I betray? A son who was never home? A selfish boy with no sense of leadership? An arrogant You strangling? lie! I have led numberless men into battle, and countless ships and raids across all the known world! You talk of kingship as if it were a matter of counting the notches on your axe. But to lead means so much more. I passed my crown to Harald because he was a man who understood the challenge put before him. Unlike you. You pathetic worm! Sigurd, this is not why we came. Plans change.
as do hearts. Not this one. And you, Eivor? I wish you whatever peace you may find in this new life you have found. I did not find it, Eivor. I chose it. The only way forward that did not lead to more violence and death and grief, your father would have understood. He died to avoid a similar fate, to save his family at the cost of his reputation. No. My father, he... He was... He loved you. That is all. Arkur nonsense. I've heard enough. My son, please. Sigurd, wait. I have spoken my words, and he has spoken his. And from this class came bitterness. What more need be said? I wish you well, Sigurd, in spite of all that has happened. I hope you find what you seek, and that it brings you peace. It will. Our destiny awaits. Do not linger long. I know you love him, Eivor. I know you trust him. But do not follow him blindly into darkness or despair. This sad business is finished. And good riddance. And now we sail for further shores. To my true purpose. To my destiny. To the end of my road. I will follow you as far as you wish in this world, brother. But if you mean to take us further, I may reconsider. I do not think you will, Eivor. I think you will marvel at what I have to show you. Still dwelling on your father? Not at all. I was only reflecting on my visions, wondering at them, how present they are, like memories of yesterday. Describe them for me, your visions. My earliest was of a large door embedded in ice, far north of Hördafilke. The Saga stone embedded at the top of its arch. As the visions grew stronger, the door opened, revealing many things. The life tree Yggdrasil, the golden fields of Valhalla, and the faces of our gods, all of whom called me friend, brother, warrior. I felt at home among them, warmed by their love. You should know, you are not alone in this. I too have had visions. Have you? And what did they foretell? It is hard to say. I've seen Odin leading me into shadows. I've seen spinners weaving wild destinies from pools of blood. I saw the great beast Fenrir, the branches of the world tree, and the man with... Go on. Valka warned me of a great betrayal. But what form it takes, I cannot say. I see. I hold to my oath, Sigurd. You know that. Betrayal is not in my nature. Of course not. You are a stalwart as a pillar of stone. Come now. My destiny awaits. Ormadr Okkar kem apter! They're all... I feel a great calm as we cross these waves. This ordeal with the Elf King, Alfred. How far have you pushed him? Does he bend? Will he break? Guthrum's army will be chasing him across Wessex now. With luck, he will push Alfred into the sea. 
Strange how these earthly concerns seem so distant to me. But we've gained so much in England. We stand to win even more. The Christians are hardy foes. They see one man above who holds the axe. One man higher than us all. That is a powerful thing. We hold our own axe. We swing it where we may. The woman, Fulke. In my time with her, as painful as it was, she showed me things. Things so strange and wonderful, I am almost grateful for her treachery. What she did to you was cruel beyond measure. Yet, with every snap of the flame, with every scar, with the loss of my arm, my visions grew stronger. If you can find the good in that, fine. She was as mad as the ocean is wide. Even the mad ones can offer wisdom. Their Jesus was an odd fellow. Now half the known world loves him. And no one believed us when we were young. When we chiseled our pans on the tables and meat holes. Not even my father. There is the secret I know well. Can we not return to England and finish together what we began? No, forget all that. The future is forward. A great wealth awaits us. I'm with you, brother. Until the end. Yes! Yes, this feels familiar! Eivor! You will press on! The rest of you, wait here! Kingdom of Snow! Sigurd! Can we not wait for this to pass? Ah, the sting of ice on skin! Revel in this, Eivor! We walk the footpath of the gods! To where? More glaciers and deserts of snow? To glory! Could we not wait until this tempest quiets down? With a ship, where we have mead and food to warm us? No! We must confront the omens and honor the gods! They will not seek or find you! We must go to them! We would be poor company, with frozen bones and ice pellets for ice! You need not fear the cold, Eivor! Where we are going, the winds and snows cannot touch! Bitter cold as wind from Niflheim. Keep steady. It should not be far now. Fingers. I hope so. There. That frozen lake. This must be it. And ahead lies a cavern. Will you not say where this leads? Ah, you will see soon enough. I'm too late to turn back, I fear. There! The cave! Within hides the sacred gate!
The ice looks fragile. Can you clear it? 